Happy Spring Lilac after they open up at $2.30. It's one-way traffic. And let's see if she can get a clear run. She's a good thing beat last start. Race 8. This is the Nixon's Function Centre, grade 6 over the fight, 31. Last of the Greyhounds being placed away now. Welcome back to Gawla for race 8. Green light goes on. Heavily back favourite, box 2, Spring Lilac. Away, she began okay. She's got clear running. She's nearly got across Bailey's era, but they push through. She got squeezed up, but she pushes through with courage and she's got the lead. So she's out in front. She leads by a half length, but Aston Hackett quickly moves up on the outside to challenge. Behind those was far more crazy. They're their only chances, I'd say. They're five lengths clear of the others, led by Springvale Sher. Bailey's uh, era got a bad check there at a vital stage. Then in turn, behind those, Victor Emma for five seconds and Betty's dream, but they've got the Spring Lilac, she's too good. Wins by six lengths on the line. Far more crazy. Victor Hammer and Spring Vale share, I think, in that order for the miners. Then in turn behind those, we had Aston Hackett who challenged. We got really uh, tired. Betty's dreaming for five seconds at the tail end of the field. 31 26. It's 2, 3, 6, and 4. 2, 3, 6, 4. And they've landed the plonk there with the Spring Lilac. She showed a lot of courage in the first turn. It was really tight. There was only a length and a half covering the whole group of greyhounds running to the first turn. She pushed through. She got pushed out onto the running rail. She bounced off of that. And then she withstood the challenge of Aston Hackett down the back straight. And then far more crazy was trying to get through. But in the meantime, she kicked away and she was too good. Two, three, six, four after race eight, 31, 26 the time.